I've been extremely tired today, unfortunately. So what am I doing? I'm scrapping a couple of photos of my mother-in-law back in the day when she was a fox and she was, I just love photos like this. Like they're just, they're awesome. I have got a few photos of her like this and um, back in the day, I think this was even, she, this was before she was even married and um, or if not before she was married, just married. So I absolutely love using these photos. Now I decided to pull out this really, really old DCWV glittered premium card stack. That's what it's called. All dressed up it's called, the all dressed up stack. So, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I decided, I pulled out my compass. I wanted to do a layout that didn't require lots of mixed media or anything like that. I didn't want it, didn't feel like it messy. So I just did a little bit. Now I just, all I did was I set my compass to a radius of about five and a half inches. It was actually, it was a bit more than that. No, it was about five and a half inches. And I just, you can see what I'm doing. I've done a semicircle on the pages and I didn't cut that one out quite right. So I decided I'd cut another one. In the end, it didn't really matter. I could have used it. So it wasn't really the end of the world. So I've got myself my sheet. As you saw right in the very beginning, I sort of had a little bit of a doodle with the pencil and sort of come up with a bit of an idea. And this is where my brain's going. Can you see the little sections? That's what my brain's chicken over. And I decided, all right, I don't just want like four sections. I want to make it quite a few sections. So I decided to just, first of all, remove the distress crayon that you used last, I think it was two layouts ago. I used distress crayons and it was everywhere. I had peacock feathers everywhere. It was all it was all over my desk everywhere. It was such a mess. But it's okay. Christ, you're right, Giz. Sorry, Gizmos. Snorting and coughing under the desk. Are you right, mate? Oh, a piece of paper fell on him. He's so precious. Poor darling. It's only paper, mate. It's okay. Sorry. I had to Got to calm him down real, get himself all worked up. It's just a piece of paper. Um, okay, so you can see what I did there. Super duper simple, right? No magic tools needed whatsoever. I was, I, I, look, I was overthinking this, it, but I wanted to do it in a way that it was super simple for you guys to be able to duplicate. So hence why I wrote all the numbers on the back of everything and I sort of went with... If I just number things, then you guys will be able to follow if you want to create a similar look. You may not want um, you may not want as many triangles as what I've got. Make them smaller. It's literally you do you. You do whatever it is you want to do on your page. You might only want to do a quarter. So something that might look really cool is if you do the like the bottom, either the top left hand corner or oh dear sorry hang on I've just got to let Gizmo out there you go buddy you going out oh I'm so sorry okay he didn't want to go out <gasps> he's freaking out okay so if you're new to my channel guess what I have two hours and this one is my daughter's dog and he is adorable he is the most cutest little fluffy, chubby white chihuahua. But he's in here staring at me, giving me his... I think it's because I'm talking to myself. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. There's people on the other side, mate. Don't look at me like that. Make me feel like I'm crazy. Okay, so I've cut all the triangles out. And I've waffled enough while I've sort of done all that. So it's at this point that I realise uh, I don't think those dots are going to work like they sort of in my mind I was going with the dots and the florals and stuff because in that era that's what they would that's what they wore right but 
I think those big giant polka dots, they're too big. I don't think they really go with the vibe that I'm sort of trying to go with. So I was thinking about adding just a little bit extra, you know, put some extras underneath so I could raise some of these triangle little wedges up and then that would work. So this is me cutting out to get rid of, no, I'm still adding some in there. I still haven't really figured out that the dots don't work. Get rid of the dots. Get rid of the dots but it's okay so at this point it's just playing just play backwards and forwards till you get what you like now you might you might not like the stripes you might like the stripes you might not you I'm just trying to use an old paper pad and black and white photos so I'm trying to keep the colors down so I'm not trying to add too many colors to it because they're black and white photos. Of course, you could always make it go crazy with the florals and all that sort of thing. I'm sorry. I now have a choice. Okay, this is running commentary and something a little bit funny. So I have one chihuahua on the inside and have one chihuahua on the outside of the door. I have the door closed, obviously, because my family's home today because it's a Sunday and... I'm doing a voiceover but I now have two chihuahuas trying to talk to each other underneath the door I mean seriously people never rains a pause never rains a pause just saying okay so I have pulled out you can see my little embroidery box there with all my embroidery threads in it I'm going through and I'm adding some craft foam to the underneath the ones that are on the top does that make sense so you know how there's some I haven't done it to every single triangle but some of them have a second triangle underneath well those ones I've raised up so that way it just gives a little bit more texture now this is where I decide that I'm going to go along and I'm going to rough them all up or have I already done that no I haven't this is where I'm doing it now getting ahead of myself y'all okay so um, I'm just going along and text adding some texture to the edges I'm being very careful because this is a very old paper pad I'm gonna have a look and see if it has I wonder if they have dates on them I don't think they do because then we'd know how many years ago we spent a fortune this one I actually picked up out of a garage sale years ago and it was in amongst all the stuff and I just went oh I'll keep it you never know I might use it for something and my theory was even if I don't use it for the front I, because it's only single sided I could use the back side of it for a white background so that was my theory so I kept it now I hope everyone is having an awesome week I am endeavouring this week to finalise everything for our next class and the packs. I'm tr I, I did speak to Cass earlier and I think we've sort of I think we're just about on the same same plan, but I just have to know when everything is able to be pre-ordered and then I'll be able to do a video for you guys and let you know what we're what we're doing for the next class. I can tell you that we're using one of the newest collections for the next class. Now, this one, okay, now I know you look, you're gonna look at this and go, that's not an even border. I didn't want it to be. I wanted the outside edges to be like, what were they? They were half inch half inch borders and then the top and bottom was quarter inch so I, I wanted it to sort of have that film strip sort of vibe okay loose adaptation okay <laughs> just squint your eyes and tilt your head a little bit and you'll get what I'm going you'll see where I'm going with that um and yeah so this is where I'm going with the the when I was looking at these photos, okay, you just want to know where my quirkiness comes from. Okay, this is where I get it from. So when I saw these photos, when I printed these photos out, 
I was thinking of, um, you know, back in the day, wow, you know, it was a big deal to get your photos taken back in like the 50s and 60s because not everyone had a camera, not everyone. It wasn't like today where everything's on your phone. And I was picturing in my mind, you remember your old cameras where you'd turn it on and the camera would like roll open. And I remember my dad had a camera and I think it was called a box brownie. Um, and it had a flash that you would attach on top of it. And I used to love looking at that because it was all the silver like shards kind of thing, like all the mirrored reflection. And that's what, that's where my circles came from. That's where my wedges came from. Okay. That's where my head was going with that. And then I was imagining it just going like poof. You remember, I know, I know, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but this is, this is where my brain goes sometimes when I'm, I might be in a bit of a scrapping funk or I might be using photos that, you know, traditionally I don't scrap, or, you know, I normally scrap everyday stuff and this is clearly not every day in my lifetime. I mean, I wasn't even alive when these photos were taken. So, you know, it's kind of one of those moments where you just, you kind of got to take a step back to do justice for the photos. That's that's the thing for me. So I pulled out some embroidery floss purely to add more texture. I could have used pens with this. If you don't have embroidery floss, you could draw lines with a ruler. You could use silver. You could use, I was going to use silver. I do have metallic embro embroidery floss, but that stuff, I swear, it like it does not ever want to work for me on a scrapbook page. Just doesn't. I don't know how the Missy Widdens of the world get that stuff to be controlled and tamed. I don't know how they do it because I cannot get metallic thread to work. Can you see now where I'm so... Okay, I know you've got to squint your eyes and tilt your head sideways a little bit to get it, but... See how it's kind of the flash? That's where I'm going with this. So hopefully, look, if one person out of 1,491 people get where I'm coming from, I'll feel like a success. So can just one person tell me they get it? <laughs> sometimes it's funny. Um, sometimes I go in a bit deep with my thought process for a layout. Sometimes it's just because I want to play with color. Sometimes it's just because I want to scrap a particular set of photos. Um, but that's where I was going with this one. So, and I, I didn't, I didn't want to do, I wanted to just use just basic supplies. I didn't want to go to my Cricut. Sometimes I like to sort of do a factory reset on myself and I like to, just get back to basics and use the basic supplies, you know, and that's what I do. So I thought maybe you guys would appreciate that too. I know it's a simple one. I know it's a quick one, but sometimes they work too. So now I am, what was I going to say? This week, there was something I wanted to mention to you guys this week and obviously in years to come when you're watching this this week is 2023 so you know it may mean absolutely nothing to anybody in years to come so the other thing is too with the um the free classes that i do you can you you can use whatever you have on you okay here's where i'm using I haven't used this in a while. This is my mica powder mixed with my gum arabic. Did you see how I just added some liquid to that and it made it nice and sticky again and it rehydrated it, sorry. And I just leave those sitting on my desk. So they're made up and all I have to do is just put a little bit of water in there and bam, it sprinkles. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. I haven't been using them much lately. I think I might have to do a layout this week using them because I love my mica powders. They're absolutely gorgeous. And sometimes, 
sometimes I get caught in the everything's new, everything's got to be new sort of run and I forget. No, get back to basics. Sometimes back to basics works. So that is pretty much where I'm at. I did pull out my glimmer stick. Oh, sorry, it's not a, is it a glimmer stick? Yes. Uniquely creative clear glimmer stick. That's what it's called. And I did sort of just add a little bit more shine on there. And I did go around the border. And that's when I realized I really don't like the wider edges. So I pulled out my Uniball Signo Broad white pen. And I think this helps because it just, it was too wide on each side. And because I'm so used to it being, my borders are always even. I didn't cope with it very well, but it's okay. It's all good. And you can see that I dropped a blob on the very bottom there and it's shimmery and that's the mica paste, but you know what? That's what happens. So here's my layout. I hope you like it. I do the journaling afterwards on this one because it is obviously personal. And as you can see, there's a little bit of texture. There's some thread there. The mica powders are down and they are not going anywhere because they're mixed with gum arabic and i absolutely love how this turned out and hopefully mum loves it too so thank you so much for watching guys i genuinely appreciate it and at this point all we need is nine more subscribers and we're going to have a giveaway and that giveaway is for everybody so everybody can join and anyone everyone can be in the running to win the two prizes that I'm giving away. Thanks for watching. I'll chat to you soon. Bye for now.